Next, we've got our incredible segment on life. So we go from saving lives to talking about life. Life! Mr. Life Greg Adela, yeah. Greg Adela, okay, who's he got? Well, oh, I know who he has. <laughs> who is it? Julia DeVillers. Julia DeVillers is a teen tween author, and she writes children bo children's books and novels. And, and tween novels. Tween novels. And all that good a stuff. writer. Interestingly enough, here's a cool tidbit before we watch. She has a twin, so you need to watch to find out what the information is about that twin. Ah, huh, I'm curious. Yeah. Let's watch. Welcome back to another segment of Impact on Life. I am your host, Greg Adela, and with me today is a very accomplished and well-known teen tween author, Julia DeVillers. Welcome, Julia. It's so nice to be here. It's so great to have you here. Thank you so much for coming here. We have, we'll give a little background history. So you're originally from the Albany area. Yes, I grew up in Colony. Mm -hmm, as did I, and you actually graduated high school with one of my older brothers. I did. I yeah. remember your brother, John, very well. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. And so much has happened to you over your life that is thrills me. Aww. I mean, my, my sisters and my nieces and nephews know of your books. I mean, we got to get right into this. We got five minutes, but we, you've got so much to tell. I mean, a little backdrop. I mean, she, you're, you land on the New York Times, the USA Today. Um, Liberty Porter is your new book series. I mean, you've had a Disney movie created in June 2007, I think. That's when yes. first, tell, tell the audience more about that. Oh, sure. I wrote a novel. Actually, I have that novel here. It's called How My Private Personal Journal Became a Bestseller. Mm -hmm. And that actually was adapted into a Disney Channel original movie called Read It and Weep. Yes. And that was so much fun because not only did um, I get to go to the set, and watch the filming and meet all of the cast and really be a part of it. But I had a cameo in the movie. Oh, you did as yes. well? Oh, I got to see that. That is fantastic. It, I don't, wouldn't call it one of my glory moments on national television. The uh, gist was the character's father was mm -hmm. trying to make his pizza parlor more exciting. Okay. So instead of just cheese pizza or pepperoni, <laughs> he would put on strange things. So the crew was cracking up as they were setting up my cameo. And I thought, why are, why are they all laughing? They're laughing because it was called Chicken Feet Pizza. Okay. And they had real chicken claws coming out of the pizza. So they served it right in front of me. And just imagine the worst smell you've ever smelled in your life <laughs> times two. And the face I made was not method acting. It was real. <laughs> well, it, it was, was real. Uh, it looked like I wanted to vomit. And boom, that's my cameo. And there, it, well, you know what's funny about that? Because um, now you're, you have a twin sister. I do. So is this really Julia here? I am I really know. Julia here. <laughs> no. Sometimes we think about switching places. Well, now that you know for future uh, pieces that they might film on you for cameos, you send your sister in because you never know what they're going to serve you. Well, I figure <laughs> with your background, Greg, maybe I should have sent her in because I never knew what was going to happen no. here today. So. No, this is fantastic. Tell more uh, to the audience um, about your new series uh, of books, which is Liberty Porter. Sure. Um, I have a couple series of books. And Liberty Porter, First Daughter, is about a girl whose father is elected president of the United States. So she, in book one, moves into the White House. And you can imagine through a nine-year-old's eyes how exciting it would be to represent America as the first daughter and live in the White House and get to take advantage of the White House chef, the White House bowling alley, and the movie theater. And I really got to go behind the scenes um, to research the book mm -hmm. and even met the president, which was lots of fun and got kind of inside scoop. So I used that in the book through the eyes of Is that right? So you, you, you got yes. clearance to go into the White House? Yes. And how was that experience? That nice? was so Was exciting. the president there? The president was there, shook his hand, pictures. Is that, is that the one picture that you have on your website that I noticed uh, with him? Probably. Is that right? Author-ish? Is that it, right? I, mean, I read, I follow I'm up. I'm impressed. Oh, very nice. Yes. Well, how did they, what, what I find interesting now is from Albany area originally, and now tell people where you live, Albany, I now live in New Albany, Ohio. Yeah, and you can't get away from so it. So we joke because my twin sister is still here in Albany, and I say, oh, you're in Albany, but I'm in New Albany. Yeah, but right. It's, that's fantastic. What is on deck for you? Do you have any 
you know, book signings coming up. Are you doing anything locally while you're going to be in town uh, for yes, a bit? Yes, because I'm living here for a year. Mm -hmm. um, I just came back from a year overseas, so we're sort of transitioning back into the States. And I wanted to live near my twin sister, who is actually the co-author of a book series that I write. We write a book about identical twins. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. That's yes. fantastic. So this is Jennifer Roy uh -huh. and Julia DeVillers. We used to be the Rosinus twins. Yes. And we write a books about identical twins who switch places. What identical? T so one moves to the left and the other moves to the right. I mean, what they, they pretend to be each other. If someone's having an awkward experience or if someone's better in math, they'll kind of switch places. Oh, see, that's fantastic things. because my one older brother, uh, we used to even to the day get confused as they would call me Jeffrey, and I didn't like it as a kid. But then I could get in trouble and get away with it and not get in trouble. Yeah, you see what I mean. So yes. it worked out. See, now we were really good, well-behaved kids. So yeah. we never we did switch places once. And you did? Yes. Oh my god. And a she wedding day? elementary school. <laughs> no! Oh, no, no. <laughs> the jitters. I think. In fourth grade, we switched places. So we use that story in these books. That's fantastic. Yeah. That is re I'd be interested in reading that. I like the name of it, Times Squared. Yeah, it's lots of fun. Did, did that just come out? Um, this one is a new one. We have another one coming out in January. Oh, okay. And it's going to be a five-book series. Oh, fantastic. So that's really cool. So I'll be doing... Um, a lot of book signings this spring in the Albany area and in New York City. Um, I've got a couple of Manhattan things lined up this fall. Oh, and great. really taking advantage of being here in the Northeast. And now you're with Simon Schuster? Simon and Schuster and Dutton and Random House. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. I like wow, it. Wow, that's so great. And to learn more about Julia DeVillers, you can go to www dot girlwise dot com to learn all about her fantastic career and what you're doing, you know, to to relate these teen and tween years that are can be difficult and then you give back to do that so I think it's fantastic I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule I know you just got up from New York City <laughs> and you jumped right in here to Proctor's yes. to, to accommodate me and to accommodate the schedule and I think it's great what you're doing I'm glad that we got reacquainted and that we reached out and, and you made this possible. So this very special segment, and I'm thrilled to have you here. Thank you. Well, inspiring girls and their parents is what I love to do. Mm -hmm. So it's a wonderful thing that you're doing here with your show. Oh, thank you. It's very, thank you so much for that. So again, for Impact on Life, I'm your host, Greg Adela. We'll see you next time. That was Impact on Life with Greg Adela. And that, my friend, is the end of our show. That's the end of our show. Just one more little thing. I'd like to thank a couple of supporters, Heidi. Go ahead, Nick. Uh, the State University at Cobleskill and Paul Mitchell, the school here in downtown Schenectady. Thank you. And we'd like to thank you, our viewers, for watching another show. Please be there for all the others. We'd love to hear from you. Impact at proctors.org. That's it, impact at proctors.org. Thanks for watching.